As industry brings in new technology with new physical and transport layers, engineers are struggling to find a way to begin development with little to no hardware. ATI's solution for this is the Vehicle Communication Gateway, also known as the VCG, which allows users to take existing hardware and convert the physical and transport layers into the new bus. The VCG is a multi-bus protocol gateway, which enables the user to change physical transport layers from one bus to another. The VCG is a standalone device which works regardless of specific software or hardware products. For this demonstration, a simple LIN network has been set up, which comprises of the VCG as the commander module and a multi-function switch as the responder module. For the sake of this example, LIN traffic will be shown via ATI's bus analysis tool, CANLAB. But please note, ATI software is not required for normal VCG usage within a vehicle. When the USB cable is plugged into the VCG and a laptop, a folder will automatically open containing an executable .exe file. Should the VCG folder not open automatically, please go to the Windows File Explorer and look for the VCG, listed as a USB device. The folder also contains an HTML document for the scripting help and a subfolder for device firmware. Getting started with the VCG. When the ATI EasyUI EXE is clicked, it opens a program named Easy Embedded Action and Scripted Interface. Hitting the Refresh button brings up the VCG's serial number and other device information. Using scripts with the VCG. Clicking on the Editor tab of the program brings up the Script Editor. Here, users can either write their own JSON script or load a previously written script into the VCG as shown in this example. Once the script is loaded, users can press the Run button and the VCG is ready to execute the commands of the script. In just 16 lines of code, the VCG is up and running, highlighting the simplicity of this solution. Automotive Ethernet with the VCG. Using a simple UDP program on a laptop, this use case shows the data from the LIN multifunction switch passing through the VCG and back into the laptop. This can be achieved via the following steps. Open the UDP sender receiver. Set the remote to your unique IP to match your port. Set the remote port. Set the local port. Hit connect button. Switch to hex. Perform some functions on the multifunction switch. Observe the LIN traffic and UDP side by side. For more information about the VCG, please contact your local ATI sales office.